Celebrity Big Brother Day 2 and it was time for Sharon to decide who was going to be up for nomination. On the Late and Live show they were saying, oh I really think that Sharon's amazing, she's everything that everybody expected her to be and they're like, oh yeah, she's great. And I'm thinking, for half a million pound, no, she's not. She's she's not everything I would expect her to be for half a million and she's only in there for a few days. I was talking to somebody in work yesterday and they were saying, did you see how much Lurpak pack they've got in that house? She says they must have spent half their budget on Sharon and half their budget on Lurpak. pack. I've still to go back and see it, but when I watch other Big Brothers and I see how much Red Bull and bananas and all that they've got, like I'm just imagining this massive stack of Lurpak. pack. In the past two episodes, I feel like we've really seen a lot of Fern and she does seem like a really genuine person. She just seems like that aunt that you can just go and ask questions. She's got so much knowledge about everything. Obviously, over the years, she's had experience in interviewing people about all sorts of topics. So, she's got a lot of knowledge, she's got a lot of patience, she's got good listening skills, and she just seems like such a genuine person. The only thing that I will say is that when she's sitting talking to Gary and they're talking about politics and stuff, now I know that people are, are interested in politics, right? I'm not. And I kind of... I'm not interested in sitting watching people talk about stuff like that when I'm watching Big Brother. It's the same on Big Brother USA. Like, they hardly ever talk about politics or anything on that, and I like it that way. But, I mean, I don't really want to sit and listen to people talk about the Tories. I get enough of them in day-to-day -day fucking life. Obviously, there's a lot of talk about the royal family because Gary's related to Kate. And, I mean, does anybody really give a fuck about the royal family? I know that there's people who are interested in it and I know somebody who was like really loves Princess Diana or whatever, right? But I am not interested in the royal family at all. And when Gary was talking about how people were saying, oh, he married like a common girl, but there's nothing common about her. Obviously, she went to a private school. Everybody knew that her family had money. Nobody thinks that he went and picked her up in a pub and both her parents were on benefits. Do you know what I mean? We know that she's not a common girl. That's blatantly obvious. But it's just, they're talking about these things and it's like, it's just going over in my head. Like, does anybody really care? Like, be honest with me, do you actually care? Big Brother called all the housemates over to the sofa and Sharon wasn't there, right? So ZZ was like, oh, I bet you it's got to go to Sharon. Oh, I bet it's got to go to Sharon. It's got to go to Sharon. And then the screen came up and Sharon was on the screen. And literally the whole time Big Brother was even talking, she's like, told you, told you. I told you, I told you it was going to go to Sharon. I okay, it's easy. You're not a fucking rocket scientist. We knew that Sharon had to do a vote and we knew that she wasn't sitting at the couches. What, what the fuck? Do you know what I mean? What Are you trying to tell everybody that you're a fucking psychic medium now? Shut the fuck up. So Sharon came up on the screen and she had to vote for who she wanted to be up for nomination and she voted for Gary. And she gave very valid reasons. She didn't say anything nasty. She obviously felt bad about it. And Gary was like, oh, I'm just being cool about it, you know. And he was obviously hurt, right? I would be hurt because if I ever got into the Big Brother house, I would be in there to get to the end. It wouldn't even be to win. I would just want the full Big Brother experience. Even though I'm saying he's not a celebrity, he shouldn't be in there, right? That's not the point. He was obviously hurting. But then when Sharon came out and they says, oh, did you know you were on screen? And she was like, no, that was the blow. Like, I had no idea I was on screen. As somebody who watches all the English-speaking Big Brothers, any time I went into the diary room, I would expect it to be being broadcast to the house or for it to be being recorded so that they can play it later to the housemates. I don't know. Like, it kind of annoys me, right, when people get put into the Big Brother house and they don't watch Big Brother. And I know that they're celebrities and they've got better things to do with their time. But I just love it when people go into Big Brother and they're super fans. And Big Brother's like, oh, this is the first time I've done this or that. And they're like, no, it's not. No, it's not. You did that in, like, season five, episode four. You know what I mean? I just love stuff like that. Marisha seems like such a lovely, fun person. But I have to tell you, I used to do theatre technology and I had to work a lot with actors and singers. And I also used to go to acting school. And when you've got somebody who's like that and it's they sing at everything, like they'll, they'll start singing sentences just randomly or just belt things out, it does get a little bit annoying, to be honest. And I don't think that I would enjoy living with her, even though I think that she, she seems like such a lovely person. When Levi and the rest of the house were singing for Louis, 
my friend was like, oh my god, that is so annoying, like, I could just never listen to that again. And I was like, they're having fun, they've got no music in the house, they've got no TV, nothing. And actually, I thought their performance was quite good. Louis was speaking to Bradley and David, and he was saying that he doesn't think Gary's going to go. And I do think that he was aiming that comment at David. But I don't think David's going to be up for nomination. I think they told you on the Late and Live show who was up, but I didn't get to see it because I was doing something else. But on the Late and Live show, they were saying that they think Louis is going to be up. And I'm actually not sure because I think a lot of people really love Louis because he's being nice to their face, but then he's kind of being snidey behind their back. So I'm not sure. I don't know if maybe they might put Marisha up, only because I would find that annoying. I would probably find David a bit annoying as well, even though I actually think he's a really nice guy. But let me know in the comments who you think is going to be up for nomination. Regardless of who's up, I definitely think that Gary's going to go because he just shouldn't be in there. I've said that a million times, he shouldn't be in there, but we'll see. Before this season started, I mostly avoided seeing who was going to get into the house. But I did see that Sharon, Louis and Ekansu were rumoured to go in and I also seen Philip Schofield. So when Gary was talking to Fern and he was saying, oh, there's rumours that Philip's going to be coming into the house and she was like, oh, maybe he'll come in as a surprise but then in that case I think I might have to leave. I was quite surprised by that because I thought that Fern and Philip would still have been friends. So I don't know, it was it was a bit surprising. But let me know in the comments who your favourite housemate is so far.